When I was very young, I used to go to my grandfather's nearly every weekend in summer holidays because he was a widower and he lived with his mother, who was also a widow. She was about 88, 89 at the time. And, uh, and he worked down the pit. So he worked all day and she was home all day and I used to stay there in the summer holidays. This picture is of my grandfather when he worked at Northern United Colliery and it's taken in the 1950s. Um, on the left is Morris Bent, then there's Will Pick, who'd worked with my grandfather for many years, my grandfather, and then Fred Tingle, who was his buddy from down the road in Lower High Street, Sinniford. And Frank Powell in front, he was another man. I, I didn't know him very well, but I knew of him. Because when we were lads, sometimes we go for long walks through the forest and we find our way up to Northern United. And, of course, the pit was working full time then. And um, somebody would say, let's go and see if we can catch a cup of tea. So in we go, see my grandpa in the workshop, and he'd give us a mug of tea. We didn't go after a while because one of the men, miners, underground miners, spotted us and said, here, Jim, be they ready to go down under then? I'll take them down now. We thought, no way, we're off. <laughs> and off we went, and we disappeared quick. I went out every day thinking of things to do. And I was in a gang called the Lower High Street Gang. All boys had to be in gangs in those days, different parts of Sinniford, they had gangs. Anyway, we did all sorts of things we shouldn't have done and did do anyway. One day, my cousin Harry, who was the leader of the gang at the time, because he was older, said, I think we should go to church. We all looked at him and said, all right, where are we going? He said, down the tin church, we go to Sunday school. So off we went. And we went down to Sunday school and we went every Sunday and we listened to Mr. Lees, the man in charge, talking about God and Jesus and how our souls would be saved in that. And we all listened. Yes, that's very good. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Lees. And then we go into our Bible classes, which usually meant be no jokes, actually. There weren't many Bible class um, stories involved. Anyway, one day, my cousin Harry had a thought. He went to Mr. Lees, he said, excuse me, Mr. Lees, he said, I want to ask you a question. He said, all right, Harry, what are you going to ask me? He said, well, what would you rather have, the Bible or the Brabazon? Now, the Brabazon was a gigantic aeroplane being built at Bristol at the time, a big airliner, and it had about 10 engines, and it was about 500 yards long, and it was so big and heavy, it never went into commercial service. But he used to fly over the Forest of Dean on its way round practising. And Mr. Lees looked at him and said, well, of course, the Brabazon's only for now, he said. But the Bible is forever to save our souls. And Harry said, wrong answer. Let's go, boys. And off we went and we never went back again. <laughs>